This is a big sky. Thank you. I tried to make it as homely as possible. So how would you like to be on the evening news tonight? Where can I pick up with my neighbors after having them right now? Do I get to be on camera? I've always wanted to be a TV star. Even when I was a piglet, my parents would say, what a ham I was. You're right. Will you know, seriously? Well, my parents said, we'll see. It always meant no. Your parents had a great understanding of broadcasting. Yeah. 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 Say we have enough for a story here. Let's go get it ready for the three o'clock news. Uh, I better get back to the studio then. How could she make it all the way back to the studio in five minutes? It's no problem. The studio is right over there. I hope it was a police station. That's the magic of police. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I gotta go to the forest for a live news. Hey, hey, where's the fire? I do not know about any fire, but if you're looking for a vicious celebrating man eating big bad wolf, there's one right behind us. Good evening, Witch Order, and welcome to News at 3, where a tough story disaster struck an enchanted forest with only got us huffing and puffing. We take you not now live to our reporter, Matt Bauer, in the forest. Thank you, Katie. It's hard to say just how devastating this tragedy will turn out to be. But with two little pigs left homeless, now might be a good time to start investing in sausage futures. Hey, you haven't happened to see two delicious, tiny, cute, cute looking children on past way, did you? Katie, I'm here with the resident of the forest who might be able to shed some light on this tragedy. What's your name, sir? My name? Are we on TV? My name is Alfred. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Alfred, huh? Say, that's quite some heavy breathing you're doing there. I'd almost call it huffing and puffing. Well, I've been chasing after my lunch. I mean my friends all afternoon, and I have a touch of asthma. I see. So, Alfred, could you account for your whereabouts yesterday afternoon? Yesterday I was? On vacation in Florida. And what exactly are you on vacation from? From wolfing? Isn't it true, Mr. Wolf, that your dietary habits are a serious threat to little pigs? Let me ask you, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Bacon, sausage, and country ham. <laughs> ha! I had fruit mousse. It was part of my complete breakfast. Now, whose dietary habits are threat to little pigs? Um, Matt, don't you think you should quit while you're behind? Absolutely, Katie. This is Bat Mauer. I mean, Matt Bauer, quitting while he's behind. Back to you, Katie. <laughs> um, thanks, Matt. At least, thanks, Matt. Um, <laughs> at least two. <laughs> thanks, Matt. children are competing for the friendship of Gurdrax. We'll have a live remote and a news at four with our special report that no one should miss if you're four to six. That's it for the news at four. Stay tuned to news at five, news at six, news at seven, and news at eight fifteen. We'll be right back from our sponsor, Mushy Smelly Cereals R Us, where cereal is mushy smelly and mm -mm good. I've got breaking news, Katie. You have to put me on the air as soon as we come out of commercial. What is it? An earthquake, a space launch, a meeting at the water and sewer commission? Better. Better than a sewer commission? That's hard to believe. I've got an exclusive interview with someone who might know something about the breaking at the Three Bears house. Well, if you don't have this here, you better Great. I'll go get ready. Good evening, Richard, and welcome to News at 6. I mean 5. Yes, welcome to News at 5. 
be taking out breaking news to our reporter in the field, Matt Bauer. Uh, I'm not in the field, Katie. I beg your pardon? I'm not in the field. I'm in the forest. Fine, we take you now to our reporter, Matt Bauer, in the forest. Thank you, Katie. It's hard to say. Today, I'm here with a man in uniform. And that means he must know something about the breaking at the Three Bears house. Um, this is a UPS uniform. I'm Lou, the UPS guy. Hey, I ordered some new socks about a month ago and they still haven't shown up. Uh, Matt, don't you think you should stay on topic here? We're on TV, you know. We're on TV? No, I I just like to say hi to my mom, my dad, my seven sisters, Betty, Beth, Beth, Louise, Louise. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> Listen, Blue. What can you tell us about the goings on at Three Bears' house? All I know is this morning I dropped off a 50 pound bag of free cooked porridge to the Bears' house. And this afternoon, Mama Bear called in panic. Something about a break in because they wear a uniform. Well, there you have it, Witchwood viewers. Earth shattering revelations exclusively here on Witchwood News. Back to you, Katie. Gee, thanks, Matt. Real cutting edge journalism there. <laughs> Tonight, the cold front will come through here, bringing all this Arctic air down to collide with the, a tropical moisture. <laughs> what? I always do the weather. You do the news. Well, tonight, the news is weather. Hello? Yes? They what? When? Fine. I'll be right there. You can do the weather. I'm doing something even better. Great, that'll give me time to practice my moves. Good evening, Richard, and welcome to the news at 714. This is Matt Bauer standing by in the field. I mean the forest. Well, you can keep standing there, because today our top story is the weather. <laughs> Hurricane Alfred is now responsible for the damage and the chance of corn. <laughs> Apparently, the swirling of the winds called alternary huffing and puffing, which led to at least two houses blown down. <laughs> you don't say. Well, in a related story, Katie, Alfred Wolf was released from custody and all charges against him were dropped. And that's news. Good night, which win? Uh, actually, Katie, I have one more story. You do? Tomorrow morning, the Witchwood Post will release a story solving the mystery of Porridgegate. Apparently, Build-A-Bear and her niece secretly arranged for all the porridge to be shipped to Witchwood Jail. They did? That's right, Katie. However, since Build-A-Bear used her own credit card, no laws were broken and no one was arrested. So now all that porridge is just piling up at the jail. Wow, what a scoop, Matt. Be sure to tune in at, tune in at this for at 7.36 for more on this developing story.